In this tutorial in Microsoft Expression Web, we're going to unlock some more of the power of the program by showing you how to manage not simply a single page that you're editing, but how to manage an entire website through Expression Web. That's one of the powerful things in this free program. So in order to manage a site, I click on my Site tab, and I have several options. I can create a new site, I can open an existing one, or I have a list of recent ones I've worked on, and I have several here that I have done. Let's look at New Site first of all. Now, when most people want to edit a website wisely, they edit the site in a folder on their local hard drive. That folder will contain all the HTML pages, all the images, all the code in one folder. And then what you do is once you edit or add different pages or different items in the folder, you upload them to your live site on the internet. The advantage of this is if you make some bad changes, the whole world doesn't see the mess and you only put files up when you know they're ready to go. Many people will use a program uh, under cPanel to do that, or they'll use a free program like FileZilla to do that, but all those features to upload the changes and additions are built right into Expression Web. You don't need any other software. So, but to do that, it manages your entire site. Let's create a new one in one of two ways. I'm going to click on New Site here, and then in the General tab, I can create a one-page site, an empty site, or I can import a site either from the internet or from another location on my hard drive system. Now before I click any of these, it wants to know where do I want my site? What do I want to call it? And this will actually be a folder in your file system. So I would call this one September and then I can give it a different name down here if I want to in the list where I manage my sites. I'll leave them the same for now. So this will create a file folder called September and that will contain everything inside my website. Well, for now, let's go to a one page site. I'll leave that selected and click on OK. And Expression Web goes in and I see my folder list here. I have a file folder uh, that has this icon on it. So it reminds me it's a website folder. It acts just like a regular folder. And I have one file called default.html. When the web goes looking to a website to say, what page do I load first? What's my home page? Default HTML is automatically a home page. Now to edit any pages in my site, I can simply double click on them. And now I see I have my site view tab and I have my default tab and I can edit this. I could say, this is my new home page. And I can go ahead and do what we've seen in other lessons. I can use a different style to format that. And notice again, when I change a page, I get the asterisk that says, you haven't saved all your changes. So I'm going to click here and we'll save that. So now I still have a site with one page. If I want to add a page, there's several ways I can do that. I can right click and click New and do HTML for a regular page. Then all I have to do is rename the page. Uh, let's call this uh, um, Biography. I'll double click on it. And here I said, uh, about me. Okay, I live in the USA. So that would give me an example of a second page. Notice again it says, hey, you haven't saved me yet, so I'll save it. And we can create as many pages as we want. The nice thing, too, is we can be editing and switch from one page to another. Um, so it doesn't matter how many pages I have, I can edit. We'll show you later how to link one page to a different page. But this is a very simple way to build it. If I right click again, I can say new. We'll add another page. We'll change the name of it. 
we'll do uh, FAQ for frequently asked questions. And I can double click on it. Now I have a third tab. Questions. What do you ask of me? Question mark. So I actually now I'll save it. And by the way, that this save will save all the pages that are open. Now then either are closed. And so now I have my site with three pages and I can be editing on all three at the same time. If I click the X next to a tab, it closes it. It doesn't remove it from my site. It just means I'm not editing it. And if you look, you have a little pencil to the left of these. It means we're in edit mode on these pages, my default page and my biography page. So uh, this one isn't. If I double click on it now, that's in edit mode and you see the icon to the left changed. So this is a very simple way to kind of build your own website so that you're, you have multiple pages that you can edit and you can manage them all in one place. And these all happen to be in my September file. And so we can go ahead and change some other features. We'll talk about that later. But this is a very simple way to begin to build your own website from scratch. But there's an easier way. If I, I'm going to click on this whole site and I will close it. I'm going to click site again. We'll do a new site. And this time, instead of using these options, I'm going to click templates. Now, what we have here is 19 different pre-designed templates that you can click on. Six for an organization, six for a small business, and seven for a personal website that you can use as a basis to design your own web page. Once again, it wants a folder. It's going to put all this in. The last one I said was September, so it just has the number two behind it. Let's, for fun, let's call this one October. This will be my October website, which is an odd name, but I'll click Personal 7 October and click OK. And now what it did is it gave me a default page like before, but a bunch of other things. It gave me all these folders to a whole bunch of pages and a master page. And if when I click on default now, I now see it gave me all this stuff here that I can change. I can edit the text here. Uh, where you see this, you can't edit it. That's tied to some master features you have to change elsewhere. We'll talk about that. But I can change the image here, put an image of myself in, or anything else I want. So I can start out with a pre-designed template, and there are 19 of them that you can pick from. And we'll talk a little bit more about the process of that. So um, if I go ahead and, and uh, go Site and Close, I have two different sites now. If I go site again, recent sites, I have an October folder with a site and a September folder with a site. And I could edit one or the other by clicking here. And there's other features we'll show you about later. But one of the great things about Expression Web is not simply page design, but site management.